What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today is Cookware Tuesday, so let's talk about it. Auto theory. Now, we know that there is, as of now, it is not possible to use a MIDI altering plugin in Reason. At all. There's no direct way. Unless you use something like, I believe it's called Blue Cat's Patch Work, something like that. Unless you use that, you can't use a lot of BST plugins that are of the MIDI class. So, Auto Theory is special because it's an external MIDI plugin. So, you don't use it within the DAW. It's a completely separate app. So there's a way to map it as a MIDI controller in Reason, which happens in the preferences. And I've set them up. You have eight separate MIDI channels that you can use. So I've already mapped some of my sounds from the Vaulted Collection, which looks like this. The link is down in the description. You can purchase it whenever you like on the DNA Labs website. So this sound is obviously a native sound. So here in Auto Theory, this is controlling the piano. And I'm only pressing one key, of course. This is the chord generator here. I'm pressing one key, and then if I go to two, I control the next sound. Three, four, I believe it, it might be five, yeah. Once again, the last three sounds are from the Baltic Collection, so definitely go grab that. A lot of sounds for a great price, good for your money, especially, specifically curated by me. So, you know it's going to be dope. Alright, so we do have the ARP section over here. And there's different ARP patterns that you can use. Here we can also change the ARP algorithm. So let's go with zigzag up. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the tool tips because it's gonna get annoying. And of course, I can change the scale here, have it set to D sharp or E flat minor. Here's F. So you see how creative you can get with auto theory. Some other things I want to show you is the ability to change the chord type you are using. So if I want to use 13s, we know that in the player in scales and chords, the highest we can get is an 11th, I believe, because you can only use six notes. I may be wrong. Let's pull it up and see. player scales and chords yeah we can get five notes so this would be a single note here this would be two notes this is the triad this is a seventh this would give you a ninth so in actuality we can only have ninth chords with scales and chords
Going back to auto theory, I've changed it to 13, so I'm going to go back to channel 1. And change them to 13. Let's try 13s with open voicings. Those high notes can get a little scary. Um, we also have the ability to strum, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's go ahead and change the scale to, let's go with the harmonic minor, but rather than super low green, I would like to do Lydian. Nice little strum pattern and we can change the rate at which it strums. And that is velocity sensitive. Really dope. This gate, we can also repeat. So um, the gate pertains to the repeat. Really dope. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, octave. It's gonna change the octave we're playing in. Rumble. Eight. That'll be a dope beat, I'm telling you. Let's go ahead and change it back to D sharp. Something like that. Just have fun with it if you want to try it out. I believe there is no trial, so it is a hefty price at $99, but I believe there will be a sale at some point. There are always sales on things like this. Let's go back down to three. And here we have a stack, which means we can duplicate the chord in another octave. So now we have the chord in two separate octaves. And so on the velocity determines the style at which it's going to play basically so if i go to dance hall and i turn repeat on it's going to pertain to how the velocity of each note counteracts with each other so let's see let's change the range and then let's go I'm trying to get it so that we can all hear the difference not very easy to tell the difference but this just changes the velocity of each particular note in relation to one another let's get this repeat off and let's talk about the arp a little bit more so the black keys control the arp We cannot hit two, both the arp, the black notes, and the white notes. They will 
the white note will cancel out the black note and we will get one note. So. You also have to keep in mind that everything defaults to the C position. So if I try to play E flat, that is where I will go. But if I want to play this root note, I need to press C. So that is the deepest I will get into this video because it can get very deep. If you would like another video on this more in depth, let me know in the comment section and I will get one going up ASAP. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, most definitely. Let me know what you would like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, friend me on Facebook, holler at me, let me know what you want to see next. I'm getting a laptop, a new laptop very very soon and i will be able to do mastering tutorials and more stuff on vocals so if you would like to second that just let me know in the comments it's all culture kick back and cook up